game today. Uh, Warriors, God, it's deja vu. Warriors beat the Kings last year in Game 7 of that first round series. Um, it's a Game 7 type environment again tonight in Sacramento. Do we have confidence, Chandler, that the Kings can figure it out? Again, in this scenario, one game, sure, anything can happen. If I'm betting man, I'm betting Golden State Warriors tonight. They're just the big brother of the, the of the Kings. They've always had their number. I think the minute that Kevin Herter and Malik Monk went down for this team, that is a huge hole. Yeah. It's a huge void. I'd love to see Fox come out early tonight, make Steph Curry work on the defensive end. Sabonis dominate, although he has not played great against the Warriors. But... Those two guys have to take 20 plus shots tonight. Like this is this is it for them. They need this game. And again, because if you lose this game, then it gets real dicey in that next round. But but I, I like the Warriors. Oh, look at that. Kings going to sleep. This is what we wanted too. We wanted a chance Kings for the Lakers and wanted. the Warriors to That's, get seven eight. This You're is spoiled. this is no diss to the Sacramento Kings. I like the team that they've built. Again, it's two guys in the NBA that I'm, I don't bet against when it's for the money. Steph Curry. For the money, he's putting him to sleep. You like the Warriors more than the Lakers? I like Steph Curry. Oh, okay, that's a different one. Are we looking ahead? (laughs) I'm just saying, like, would you rather bet the Warriors tonight to win, or would you rather bet the Lakers tonight to win? If you could only pick one? If they played each other? No, that game or that game. Which one do you you think is more of a lock? I think the Warriors game is more. Whoa! Okay, Warriors are more. Why? Do we just trust them more? It just, listen, that, that... that Pelicans Lakers game got a lot of star power in it. Got a lot of star power in it. New Orleans is playing really good basketball. I just think the Lakers are the type of team that they get methodical with how they go about games, with game planning, with strategy. LeBron James is gonna go out there, he's gonna manage the game, he's gonna manage the pace, he's gonna manage the flow, it's gonna go his way, it's gonna be uh, tilted his way. So I, I think the other game is gonna be a little bit more of a lopsided one. And you know what's interesting? You were saying whoever wins that first game, like, congrats, you're, you're gonna get the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> yep. It's the opposite on this. It's like, okay, if we can win this game and then go get the next game, we have a real shot at actually going and beating the Oklahoma City Thunder with a better draw. So totally this, different. this, yeah, it's almost like we said, Laker Nation wants them to sit, that's not gonna happen, but it is a more favorable matchup to get the eighth seed in the West this year than the seventh. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you don't want to be great. It's a better position for these two teams almost to go and go balls to the wall and win these next two games and then get the Thunder rather than rest and sit. The Lakers cannot do that. No, I don't think they can either. Um, let's just take a, a road, a trip down memory lane because this seems like a bit of a rivalry building. Steph had 50 uh, in Game 7 of the series last year. And, of course, there was the Draymond stomp on Sabonis and his chest in Game 2. Uh-huh. We got Do you, up there. Does this have enough to be considered a rivalry? And I was in the building no. when Draymond came back in that one, and he got a standing ovation, which is everything that's wrong with the world. But that being said, <laughs> Chandler. Uh, uh, I will say the Sacramento fan base is awesome. Yep. They're, they're going to be loud. They're going to be rowdy. They're going to try to light the beam tonight, and they're not going to let Draymond Green and forget about that <laughs> moment. Every time he touches the ball, they are going to boo him, and it's going to be a crazy atmosphere. They're so close in location, but the, the Warriors pack a different punch. They're like the Lakers. There's going to be so many Warrior fans also in there that love Steph Curry and love Klay Thompson. So as far as the drive to Sacramento from here? It's not, oh, from here? Oh, from, far. from yeah. here? Ooh, like lo- seven? Losing about pulling up. Seven uh, hours, maybe? I live a life. Oh, seven Eight? hours? I don't live that type of life. No, I know. And a lot of it's just kind of boring, so you can just cruise. And also, anytime Draymond Green's on the floor, there's going to be some sort of Drama. physical, yeah, there's going to be some sort of environment that's going to, could possibly be hostile, especially when there's already I'm been excited history. for these games, man. It's I think Lou really true. wants to go tonight to yep, the game. I'm, 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 we send him out I'm excited. It's been a long time since we've seen so many great matchups. Yeah. So many great matchups, making the greatest players in the world earn it. This is exciting. I'm, I'm excited to see these games. And think about the people that didn't like the plan initially. Like, if they didn't... LeBron. They, like LeBron. Like, <laughs> these two teams would already... Funny. said whoever created the play-in should get fired. Yep. These two Here teams would already just be home. They, <laughs> wouldn't, even, they, wouldn't, even have a, they wouldn't even have a chance at going to get the... He hated the idea. No, it's, 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 it's perfect it's entertainment. It's better than anything we could have asked for. And also, on the Sabonis thing, he's never had a triple-double against Draymond. So how do we get over the that hump? Do we get over that? Like hump? I said, he's got to be aggressive. He's got to do the same thing Anthony Davis. He's got to come out. It's, it's one game, and then you have to go to the next one. But he's got to dominate. And again, he's never played great again. Draymond Green's a great defender. Right. He's physical. He's mobile. He's one of those rare guys that can move his feet and stay with guards. And he can also be physical with a strong Sabonis like this. So I just think, like I said, it's got to be him and Fox, especially with those two wings out. They have to do the majority of the scoring. I take 20 shots. Take 25 shots. It doesn't matter. You're going to live and die with those two guys tonight. 
This is going to be fantastic. Also, Draymond said it too, didn't he? He said he hates the playing game. But and then the he also loves thing it. That's yeah, ever yeah. been created. That was actually a really good Draymond quote. Um, the if young you're dude, in it, you love it. If you're not in it, to. you're like, why is there the playing tournament, right? Like that's probably it's, what this LeBron is one of those was things that's irre that's not relevant to you until. You, you need it. it. I think you love it if you're the one and two seed too, because it gives you a couple more extra days of rest I mean, after the regular those season. Those guys all have it like a week yeah, off. It works, it works for everybody. The Lakers made it to the Western Conference Finals out of the playing tournament, right? Yeah. He made it to the NBA Finals yeah. out of the playing tournament. So clearly, there's something here that works. Especially when it's so deep and everyone, the 10 seed. What was their record this year? Like, Everyone's you know, above 500. Everyone above 500. They're the 10 seed. Yeah. They deserve a crack at it. They got this right. Um, let's talk young dudes on the Warriors. They've been a huge part of what they what they have done on the court. What's the impact you've seen? I mean, a massive impact, and they're they're blending their vets and their youth better than they have ever under <laughs> Steve Kerr. And I think Jonathan Kaminga, Trace Jackson Davis, Brandon Pazemski, they love all three of those players. And Kaminga, we've seen develop into that second option on any given night. He he has qualities that makes him a star caliber player. Um, and he missed some time late in the season with a knee injury. Um, he's on his way back. He he's looking better to close the year. They need him to step up tonight and for the rest of the playoffs. He's also extension eligible, Michelle. So oh. seeing how he how that goes in the summertime after his third mm -hmm. season will be interesting as well. That's exciting for everyone involved. Uh, look, I just I want to look ahead because I think this is the gazillion dollar question as well. If the Warriors lose this thing, is this the last time we see Clay, Steph, and Draymond playing together? I think so. <clears throat> I think so. I can see Clay. I think he's played well enough this year for, to go and get a huge bag from a team like the Orlando Magic or someone like that. Oh, that's so we're buying that, huh? a bunch of, I am. I, right. And I think he deserves it. I think he's got one more crack at it to go and be the guy. And I think with everything that's happened going to say this year, if, for them to basically be the, t uh, the, the 10 seed and, and go and to get knocked off by their little brother, the Sacramento Kings, <laughs> I, I think this would be their final game together. This, this big three, um, these three guys are a Hall of Fame group. Um, they've done a lot together. They've created memories. They were a championship group. I, w I love to see guys start and finish their careers mm -hmm. in one place that they've, they've done so many great things for. Something just feels like there's time for a change in, in uh, Golden State. It just, feel, it just feels like it. You know, when you're around this game for so long, you can tell when the energy is shifting and it feels like that's the, that's the vibe um, going into this playoff run that we're probably seeing the, the last days of this three together. It's basically Clay's going to be gone. That makes me a little bit sad. That's why he's taking everybody on the boat. Um, Steph always shows up. That is not, we're not worried about that. But is there a chance we get an old school Splash Brothers performance, which would mean, and here we go, uh, Steph and Clay both have to score 25 or more, which right now is at plus 389. With those odds, I would take it. I think <laughs> Steph definitely is going to go over 25. And Clay's had these games where, again, he, he can has. get hot early. He can make, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, three. So at plus 389, I would definitely take this and little part. Clay, I like that one. Clay quietly got worked back into the start lineup. We never discussed it. Yeah, the whole come off the bench thing was a blip on the screen. Um, yeah, and he's had a few of those are like 27 points seems to be his wheelhouse. Draymond, by the way, first player to record a double-double without attempting a field goal or a free throw. That's the crazy. Night. That is a weird stat. Um, so here we go. Eight <laughs> or more like, assists. That's... that's Magic. Yeah, that's that's impressive. almost as crazy as the Celtics not having a free throw. That that's game. also magic and weird. Hmm. Yeah, there's a couple weird moments in the, that at is the end crazy. of this one. Um, if he scores eight or more and eight rebounds, uh, assists and rebounds plus two eighty six. I like that. Yay. Yeah, look just at, look at just, Lou writing just, stuff down. He's gonna take <laughs> that one. What are they doing? I need. Just <laughs> assists and rebounds. I like it. Just crazy as we were talking about a player who the points are the hardest thing for him to get. Yep. Like he's gonna get the rebounds. He's gonna get the assists, the swing swings. He's playing with the best shooters his, ever. His, his averages are kind of up this year though. Points. I'm just saying, if, if you told me, all right, or Draymond, eight, eight, and eight, which ones he not gonna get? I would <laughs> probably say points. Yeah. I think that would be okay. If he's on the floor for 30 plus minutes, he's getting eight assists and eight rebounds. He's the ball a lot. He's crash. He's crashing the glass. It's the points that are gonna be the tricky part. I, I, I buy that one as well. Um, Kings, I, we've talked a little bit. Chandler, you've mentioned the, the huge injuries, by the way, of the last month this season. Is there anything on Malik Monk that you can share? Malik Monk is going to be out well into April and May. Mm. Uh, there's, I mean, he's not going to return uh, anywhere in this play-in tournament. Ever. Yeah, he's uh, out for the season. <laughs> That's like the what you're round. saying. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, the Kings are preparing to move forward here. If they do make it in the playoffs for at least the first round, through the first round without Malik Monk. That's just such a bummer. 
And by the, they do have guys to step up. They do have the, you know, Keegan Murray. They have Harrison Barnes. These Monk, guys have though. stepped up. But, yeah, Malik Monk provides just that spark, that energy, the outside shooting, everything. And, and it's going to take a collective effort. Uh, you know, Davion Mitchell, he's been better. He's been making some shots outside. But that's a big hole to replace. And then on top of that, Kevin Herter, your best shooter, he's mm -hmm. out too. Those are, those are I think, too tall of a task to that's, overcome. That's two big ones. Let's go ahead and predict this bad boy. The odds on uh, FanDuel Sportsbook right now have the Warriors uh, – two-and-a-half-point favorites, um, and they were split. The series was split. When the Kings won both their games, it was by a single point, which is interesting to me. <clears throat> Lou, who wins? Golden State. Golden State, the beam, uh, I'm sorry, Sacramento. I don't I don't feel like that beam is going to be lit, you know, and you guys should be on edge, and y'all should be there and be very supportive of your team. You know, this is the team that just took you out seven games the last time we were in this position. So, you know, the proof is in the pudding right there. I still like Golden State. You seem yeah. sad when you're saying it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sad. It's going to be a great game. It's going to, but I can see even Golden State pulling away with this, you know, double digit. I think they're going to come out. You I know, know. Dang, double digit. I think double they're going to come out ready to play, and I think yeah. they, this is what we wanted, right? This is what Somebody everybody wanted. Yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings. I want to be entertained. I want to see a triple overtime thriller. I wouldn't I mind that. Warriors and wouldn't the Warriors mind it. win pretty big. Especially we're on the West Coast, watching sports so much easier out here. Yeah, I'd take a triple overtime. Don't mind it.